When is the last time Barcelona held the Olympics? Very simple web search. I don't I have that question. Searching for Olympics. It's going to come back. The last the time Barcelona hosted the Olympics was in 1992. I don't. If I have a very simple question, I don't need to pull out my phone and unlock it and open a browser and type it in. Press enter. Wait for the results. Get it. I'm just talking to it very naturally, and I can take that and just you know be like uh you know translate that into Spanish, and it's gonna know what I mean by translate that. Yeah. I don't have to say translate the previous sentence. Translate. Yeah. And there are going to be situations where you really can't speak out loud or the device, you don't want the device to be too loud. So instead, what you do is you just raise your hand up and it projects the information on here. So look at that. You know, that's, the, that's what it just said, the translation. And it's on my hand right now. So then I can go home. I can still interact with the device, right? I'm cycling through the time, the weather, the date. I can see what's nearby. Um, this is the neighborhood we're in. I can see more of what the device can do, right? I can like capture images if I want to. So actually right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video right now of this moment. So while you're all taking videos holding your cameras and stuff, I'm hands free. I'm just living in the moment talking to you guys. The, you know, the green LED is, you know, letting what we call the trust light. It not only lets me, but it lets other people know that the camera is being on right now. It's being recorded. So, you know, privacy is a big part of it. We want people to know if they're being recorded by the camera or the microphone and so that's what uh, that's what uh, you know the trust light is for again privacy and security very important to us all sorts of interactions to do with the device whether it's uh, browsing or anything it's um, getting sent sorry, no, 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 yeah, sorry a little distracting yeah um, it is being sent to your own dashboard which is called dot center over there, you can view all the interactions with the device, all the photos you've taken, all the videos you've recorded, all the AI browsing history, and you can delete them if you want, all from our servers like that, because you own the data. And we think privacy and security is very important. It's all end-to-end -end encrypted. And again, the device is standalone. So when you purchase the AI pin, you're also purchasing a phone line on us with unlimited data calling and texting, and you can... Um, make phone calls, receive phone calls, yeah. send messages, send SMS, get back and forth. Um, yeah, and I mean, you know, I can show you another demo if you guys are interested, but I can say something like, uh, describe the scene in front of me. And what it's doing now is it's going to be using the camera to scan what's in front of me, and by that white uh, LED, that means it's scanning. It's going to send that image to our cloud LLMs, and it's going to analyze it, come up with a summary, and send it back to the device to, and you know, the dream is to eventually not you know, have to pull out your phone for everything, right? Eventually, I'd like to be able to walk up to a coffee machine. In the scene in front of you, there are three individuals holding up devices, yeah. possibly <laughs> smartphones, okay. to take photos or records. Yes. The person in the foreground is holding an iPhone 11 Pro or similar model. Oh, they are wearing a green checkered shirt and have a lanyard with a badge that includes a QR code, oh, and a text, QR code. feathery battery summit, and CES 2021. To the right, there is another individual holding up a smartphone. The the background suggests an indoor setting, yeah. possibly an exhibition or event space. Exactly, yeah. Again, this is just the first generation, right? Yeah. It's not, you know, accuracy, latency, we can improve on them. It's just software that's going to get better over time, right? And over time, the dream is to, you know, walk up to a coffee machine. How do I make a latte with that? If your car breaks down, what's wrong with the engine? Point at things. You know, turn the world into your operating system, right? And you know that's the long-term vision we have for AI Pin is to really be connected to the internet without being consumed and drowned in all the distractions that it provides. Yeah. Yeah. And the availability in Europe, it, it will be available so soon or not? I can't speak to that. It is U.S. only for now. Okay. We want to be in as many countries as possible. Uh -huh. So, you know, it is a standalone device. So we are partnering with telecom companies in order to make sure that, you know, they we act as an MBNS. So we're partnering with them. T-Mobile is our partner in the States. Yeah. Um, we've announced a partnership with SK Telecom. Okay. Um, and, yeah, we're going to talk to as many telecom providers as we can. And, Find a good partner. And how much is it? It is starting at six hundred and ninety nine dollars with a twenty four dollar monthly subscription. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Choose the like that rather than these. Right. I mean, that's a good question. You know, I think.